Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to insert a decimal number or flow data type value in MySQL. So let's get started. So this is my database over here. So I will just first use the database. Yeah, and let me just create a table. Okay, so it's going to be create table. Let me name it as DT. Let me have ID as in type. And here you have to put a comma and my decimal value. I will name it as DV and it's going to be decimal and within bracket we need to pass two parameters okay one is going to be the total size of our decimal number and next one is going to be the number of characters after that dot okay so here i will be putting four comma two okay which means that our decimal number can be like this our decimal number can be 33.35 this is acceptable because the total number of digits we have given as four so here we are having four digits and the number of digits after this decimal point we have specified it as two so here we are having two digits so this is acceptable and if we have three five means this is not acceptable in both cases because we have given as four here we are having five digits and we were only specified two after decimal but we are having three over here so let me just now run and show you okay so this is good so if i just now select this yeah, I'm getting a green mark. So I will just insert some values now. Insert DT. I'll just put one comma thirty-three point four five something like that. Values over here. So if I just now run it, here you can see I'm getting it inserted. But what if I gave thirty-three point four five five? Like it will have five digits, but our we have specified it to be four. So if I just now run it. Here you can see I'm getting error over here and it's not getting inserted because we have crossed the number of digits limit. So if I just now have three over here as well. So this is also like a wrong value because we are like crossing our limit. Okay. So if I just now run it again, I'm getting an error for this. So in order to solve this, like you need to be careful before while creating the table itself. Okay. So again, really simple thing, just have a decimal and two parameters. First parameter corresponds to the total number of digits in your decimal number and second parameter is going to be the number of digits after the decimal point. I hope you would have found this video useful. I have also done many other SQL queries. So do check them. Subscribe me. Thanks for watching.